OK, right, so we're going to focus our attentions now on Rugby Union. England suffering defeat in Steve Borthwick's first game in charge as they lost 23-29 to Scotland at Twickenham. It is Italy next in the Six Nations. That's coming up this Sunday. Let's head to England's training camp in Bagshot and to join our reporter, Eleanor Roper. Good afternoon, Eleanor. Hello, yes, good afternoon. As you say, England preparing to take on Italy this weekend. And alongside me is England captain Owen Farrell. Always good to see you and, and have your thoughts, Owen. So thanks for chatting to us. You've had a few days now to kind of reflect on the Calcutta Cup. I wonder what have, what have been the discussions in camp this week? Um, well, there's a lot of stuff that we feel like we could have done better. A lot of stuff that we feel like we did did quite well as well. So obviously the review has been... Uh, been over and done with by now, so we're, we're looking forward to Italy now. But yeah, um, we're, ple we're pleased in some aspects, but obviously disappointing the result. Yeah. Can we just unpick it a little bit more, if that's okay? I know that you, you guys always like to look ahead to the next thing, but um, obviously you're disappointed with the result. But also, there's a lot for England fans to get excited about. Yeah, um, I thought, especially at the start of the game, I thought um, we we were in the we were in the right parts of the field, and obviously we a couple of a couple of thunderbolts from from Scotland got them ahead, and and the team dug in to get back into a good position, uh, a position where we we could have and maybe should have won the game, um, but obviously full credit to Scotland for for sticking in it and getting the result in the end. Yeah, it was an amazing performance. Also great to see Max Malins get over for his debut international try. We've just been chatting to him as well. How pleased were you to to see him getting over? Yeah, I didn't actually know it was his his first try. It's, it surprises me. Um, seeing the amount of scores at the club. Um, but yeah, no, Max Max is a fantastic player. He he played very well, and uh, it's no surprise that he got two. As you say, we're looking ahead to Italy, and I think it's fair to say there would have been a point where you might have thought, OK, this isn't the most challenging of weeks, but those days are definitely over when it comes to Italy, aren't they? They've put in a brilliant performance against France at the weekend. Yeah, and, and not just that. Obviously, they beat Wales, and, and there's, a, there's a big game against Australia in, in the autumn too. And, uh, yeah, no, it's, it's definitely not. I think I think the whole Six Nations has got that feel around it at the minute. Um, said said before the tournament even started that this is probably the most tightly contested uh, six nations that I can ever ever think of um, coming into it. So yeah, it feels like there's a, anybody can beat anybody, and, and we're obviously looking forward to playing Italy at the weekend. What do you expect from them? Because we know that they're going to fancy it. I think it's fair to say this weekend. What do you make of their style of play? Of kind of the belief that's with this side at the minute? Yeah, they've changed their style of play over the last year or so. Um, they play pretty tight and hidden and right at the line and, and all peeling off each other's shoulders now and, and it's hard it's hard to defend against as you can see um, from the, the, the trouble that they've been causing a, a lot of teams to be honest um, but we've got to concentrate on ourselves we want to make sure that we're in, our, in the best place that we can possibly be come, come Sunday and, and that's what we're looking to do Let's talk more broadly about the championship because, as you say, it feels really close. It feels really, really exciting. We saw Italy, France. We know that you've got Wales to look forward to, for example. What are you making of the progress that you guys are making under Steve Borthwick? Because this will still only be his, his second game in charge. Yeah, we was just talking inside then about we do feel like we're progressing. We do feel like, obviously, this is a, a start of a journey for us. And we are, we are, I don't know, 14, 15 days into that at the minute. And... Obviously, the test the test is the game at the weekend, and we saw and we saw some things that we're 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 proud of, and some things that we need to to get better at, and we're working hard to get better at them. Thank you, Owen. I mean, it, it's a surprise even for me to hear only 14 days together. It's mad, isn't it? I think 11 days as you were heading into that Scotland try, but we look forward to seeing what's next. Thank you. Have a good week. Um, as Owen says there, not long together, but this England side is is growing and building as they look ahead to England, Italy this weekend at Twickenham. I don't know. Thank you very much indeed.